Hey, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog, and this tutorial will teach you how to do the textured and twisted fishtail braid. What I love about the style is the first part is really polished and sophisticated, and then once you get into the fishtail, it's really textured and undone. So it's kind of a cool mix of both looks in one style. It is best to have long hair, but if you've got a medium length hair and you're able to fishtail your hair anyway, you can go ahead and try this tutorial as well. My hair naturally hits right about at my collarbone, so I'm wearing extensions. If you see any random layers peeking out, that's why, so you won't run into that issue unless you're using extensions as well. And if you do have that issue, just keep a couple bobby pins ready for the end of the style, and you can just kind of tuck those little hairs that are peeking out right into the fishtail and no one will know. It's helpful to use a little bit of a texturizing product before you start fishtailing, just to encourage your hair to sort of hold together and give it a little bit of grit. The product I'm using today is a volume powder in an aerosol spray. So you'll kind of get the effect of a texture powder that typically comes in like a small little container, but the aerosol spray will help me deposit it all over. Once you've got it all texturized, divide your hair off from about your ears forward and gather the rest in a low ponytail. We'll start on the left side, wrapping this section right over the clear elastic you just put in. You'll repeat that same step on the right side, going over the section you just pinned in place. So now it's time to fishtail. And the key to making this look really textured and undone is to not pull it too tight and to also vary the size sections you're working with. So if you grab a nice hefty section the first time, go ahead and grab a section about half the size the second time. And that variety is gonna keep the fishtail from looking really perfect. Once you've fishtailed a couple inches, pull the fishtail over one of your shoulders and continue working. The change up of the direction is going to help contribute a little bit of a twist and mess to the fishtail, which is the goal for the look. At this point, if you're feeling a little bit creative, grab a section of hair, wrap it all the way around, and then incorporate it back into the fishtail.
Secure the ends with the clear elastic. And then slide that clear elastic down one to two inches further and use that extra hair you just added in to stretch out the fishtail. And then finish with the light mist of hairspray. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see any others, be sure to visit thesmallthingsblog.com.